So I'm going to be talking about the Castro Stevens and Sanagashira coupling reactions, and these are both organometallic reactions. And um, just to start, this is the overall pattern. Um, one of the biggest differences is that the Castro Stevens reaction is just going to use a copper copper catalyst, but the Sanagashira reaction is going to use not only a copper catalyst but a palladium catalyst. So there's two catalytic cycles. And the overall pattern is that you're going to have one um, R group that's going to be an aryl bonded to a halide. And then you're going to have another terminal alkyne with an aryl or vinyl um, R group at the end. And then depending, like I said, if it's Castro Stevens or Sanagashira, we're definitely going to have the copper catalyst and maybe a palladium, palladium catalyst under basic conditions uh, to form our dye substitute acetylene product, which is going to form a new carbon-carbon bond between um, the aryl or the aryl and vinyl group. And your byproduct is also going to be a copper halide. So I just discussed the overall pattern of both of these reactions and how the biggest difference is the reaction conditions and that the Sanagashira uses a palladium catalyst. So here's just an example of um, the different products that can be formed um, depending on your aryl groups. So here, um, we're st our starting material, we have um, an iodide that's ortho to our R group. So under Castro-Stevens reaction conditions, um, if the halide is ortho to the R group and we have our copper one um, catalyst and, we're, uh, and we are using DMF for our reaction conditions, um, this Castro-Stevens coupling reaction is actually able to form a heterocycle um, in other cases, um, also other cyclic products. And um, Sanagashira, uh, in order to form a cyclic product, there will probably have to be another reaction um, after it to form that cyclic product. But in, uh, in this reaction, um, the plate, we have the palladium, again, which is the biggest difference. And then our alkyne is going to re be replacing um, this iodide and is forming a new carbon-carbon bond at, um, where the iodide once was. And here's just another example of how even if the reaction conditions using a palladium catalyst or a copper catalyst are different, um, under both reactions we can still end up with uh, the same product. So here in this example, we have the iodide being replaced um, by the terminal alkyne and the aryl group, and uh, we're gonna have our copper halide product because the iodide is gonna leave um, and bond with the copper during a um, carbon methylation, which I'll explain next. Um, so here we have our new carbon-carbon bond, and then the same uh, reaction occurs here, except there's gonna be a transmethylation in the mechanism, and the iodide is gonna be replaced um, by this terminal alkyne and form a new carbon-carbon bond and both, as you can tell, um, have varying reaction conditions but overall very similar and identical products. Next, I'm going to talk about the Sanagashira mechanism. This is an important part of the reaction just because, again, what makes it different is that we have this copper cycle along with a palladium cycle. So we have two catalytic cycles here, which means um, there's going to be two catalytic cycles that are playing into this mechanism. So our palladium catalyst is going to undergo oxidative addition, um, which is then going to undergo transmetallation. So the copper um, is being replaced by palladium and is now going to be bonded um, to the bromine. So here we see that the palladium is now bonded to um, this alkyne here from the copper cycle. And this um, intermediate here is going to undergo a reductive elimination to form our product. Um, and then again, we will also be left with our palladium catalyst again uh, for the cycle to just continue. So here's an example of naming our action problem. Up here, I do have the overall pattern in case you need any help, but predict whether this is going to be a Castro Stevens reaction or a Sanagashira reaction and why. So this is going to be a Castro Stevens reaction, and this is because here we have our vinyl halide, um, which is the bromine. Um, and then over here we have our terminal alkyne, and in our reaction conditions we have um, copper iodide, which is going to be our copper one catalyst. Also, there is no palladium present, so that is another reason why we can um, deduce that this is again going to be a Castro Stevens reaction, and through that. Um, our terminal alkyne forms the new bond to where the bromine once was, forming this overall product um, in this coupling reaction. And then again, we get our copper one bromide byproduct as well. 
And again, the main differences are that Sonaga Shira is going to have a palladium catalyst um, along with a copper catalytic cycle, so there's two cycles. Um, a Castor Stevens is able to form heterocyclic compounds if there is a substituent that is ortho to, ortho to the R group. Um, Sonaga Shira will probably be need to, will need to be paired with another reaction to form a cyclic product. But overall, um, those are the three main differences. Thank you for listening to my video. I hope you learned something.